Welcome back to Penn State. If you love college football, you get chills just saying the name. The Fighting Irish against the Nittany Lions. Allen and Tate are deep to receive Kevin Kelly. The small guy with a great leg booms it into the end zone. After last week, we need not just to wake up the echoes, we got to wake up that whole offense. And I think Jimmy Clausen is just the guy to do it. Maybe only a freshman, but he's been preparing for this his whole life. One thing is for sure, he'll be looking for senior tight end John Carlson. Had a big game last year against the Nittany Lions. And the O-line returns only two starters. Right tackle Sam Young and center John Sullivan. Those guys have got to do a great job protecting Young Clausen. Regis, thank you very much. Proud and longer snap. snap count. Ball start. Number 72 offense. Five yard penalty. First and 15. Clawson to throw the first pass as a starter. Completes it out in the flat. A little swing pass to Armando Allen. We have a young defensive line, but they're out there ready to prove themselves. Boy, if I could just get them to tuck their jerseys in during the game. At linebacker U, three guys second to none, led by co-captain senior Dan Connor. And finally, a great secondary. Oh, and by the way, Regis, is this your helmet or one of the four horsemen? <laughs> there he knew his name was Brad. He, he goes by Spider. Clawson swings it to Allen again. Down the sideline, a little juke and got free across the 30 to the 35 net. Armando Allen is the tailback. Got a lot of quicks, a freshman out of Hialeah, Florida. And they're counting on him. And Connor, the All-American middle linebacker, swallows him up. Joe Paterno said this is probably a much better natural spot for him to play in the middle. Clawson is two for two, three for three. Completes the screen here. Allen, 45, dies forward. He caught one ball a week ago for one yard against Georgia Tech. Allen, good blocking up front. Charlie Weiss promised to Travis Thomas, number 26, checks in as the new running back. Instead, they go out in the flat to George West, Jr., and they're off to a much better start. Clawson again, pressure coming, runs away from it. Got a block! What a great block! And he got crushed by the fullback. Allen back in. They swing it to him again. And not Penn. this time, says Penn State. Second and 11 as that last swing pass lost to York. Clawson will take off. Dives to the 32-yard line. Robbie Paris comes in as an extra wide receiver on third and eight. This will be the 10th play of the opening drive. Another blitz is coming. The pass through the hands of Armando Allen. It will be a 50-yard try. Sharply is the holder. It's wide. And Morelli goes to the shotgun and has five wide receivers. Tipped at the line of scrimmage and still caught downfield by Jordan Norwood. At quarterback, sharing the same number as Penn State great Todd Blackledge, number 14, Anthony Morelli. Though I think he has a little stronger arm than he used to have, Todd. And finally, a solid offensive line led by center A.Q. Shipley, whose pants I could never get clean after a football game. Spider, Spider. dissing my partner oh. during the lineups. He's a star now. Penn State trying to run it. To put it mildly, the new 3-4 scheme had a little trouble stopping the run last week against Georgia Tech. But on that defensive line, look for senior Trevor Laws to provide the leadership. And amongst the linebackers, keep your eye on team captain Maurice Crump. And in the secondary, look out for Tom Zimikowski. Uh, he's the boxer who's always looking for that knockout blow. Can we get Kelly to help Regis next time? <laughs> no slap at Regis, I just like Kelly. Georgia Tech averaged six yards of carry in that opening game win. Morelli 
Throws into coverage, and it's intercepted by Darren Walls. Walls on the return, got blocking in front of it. One man to beat, Walls to the five, touchdown. Touchdown, Notre Dame. 74 yard interception return by the sophomore from Pittsburgh. A week ago, where he had three touchdown passes and almost 300 yards. Brandon Walker with the point after. And Notre Dame, a heavy underdog at Penn State, takes the lead. He's a Pittsburgh kid, played at Woodland Hills High School. Nate Whitaker to kick off. Rodney Kinlaw on the return. Down to the 24. Seven yards behind Morelli, and Scott will get the carry. Or maybe two yards. Boy, <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen anymore, do you? Scott with a carry. The ball came loose. Notre Dame says they have it, and they do. But there is a flag down. Hold the phone. It's for their defense to play There's well. No flag on the play. The ball was fumbled by Penn State. Recovered by Notre Dame. First down. Movement. Notre Dame moved early. And Prior to the snap, false starts. Number 72 offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Travis Thomas is in on first and 15. Thomas on the delay. Not much there. Okay. Second and 13. Clawson. Well, he did a nice job keeping it alive, but Junior Jabby comes in for the first time. He's number 37. They like him as the third down back. Quick hitch to the sideline, complete to Duval Kamara. Three punt returns for touchdowns. Only the fifth Notre Dame player ever to have that many in a career. Won't get much of a chance on this. Fair catch. Matt Hahn is the fullback in front of Austin Scott. Penn State yet to get its offense on track. They've suffered two first quarter turnovers. Scott. Trevor Laws. And you've kind of played right into their hands in terms of helping the confidence of Notre Dame. Morelli with time swings it out. Derek Williams. Now, the, the smallest detail is protect the football. You must take care of the football, and they have not done that so far in the first quarter. Scott. Off left tackle, stood up. Swing pass is incomplete. That one off the hands. Three wide receivers for the Newton Lions on second and ten. Morelli, the draw to Scott. We got a couple. Let's check in with Reese Davis. Penn State facing a third and eight late first quarter. Four man rush. Morelli is flushed. We'll get from behind. And they got him. Anthony Morelli goes down. Back at his own 35-yard line. Zibikowski in much better shape this year. Came back down about 10 pounds from a season ago. 42-yard kick, no return. And we've got a fight back where the punter was. Guys really going after each other. And Jerome Hayes is a backup linebacker. After the play was over. Personal foul. Number 26, receiving team. 15 yard penalty from the end of the fair catch. First down. Notre Dame lost a player a week ago, Justin Brown, who was ejected against Georgia Tech for throwing a punch. And I'm not sure there was a punch involved in that. But I've never seen that somebody rushing up the middle on a punt. Quick toss out to the flat, Grimes across the 30 to the 32. He certainly has shown a lot of poise already. Blitz coming. And Clawson able to throw it away. Now the question is, did he get outside of the tackle box? Oh, 
Williams got a block. Great cut. He's got a wall. Williams to the 10 5 touchdown. 76 yards for Derek Williams. in this game that monster kick return and an equally large interception return for a touchdown you think Joe Paterno isn't an all purpose coach we'll show you when we come back and neither one by the offense one special teams one defense Kelly to kick. Tell you what, always, always has. has always been a stickler for special team. Travis Thomas, the tailback, plunges forward to four. <laughs> Thomas again up to the 29. And that's the end of an exciting first quarter from Penn State. It is 7-7. The Nittany Lions in the fighting are third and a yard for the Irish. Thomas takes it outside. Flag is down. Escarado came up from the heroes. Nice kick. Williams with a late fair catch signal. Play with a, a, a renewed sense of urgency. I haven't been watching that game very closely, but that is a surprise to me. That's not even a dead cat bounce. That's no bounce at all. So they look like 0 and 4 since the death of Bo Schembechler. Kinlaw comes in. Trevor Law is one of the real leaders up there, a fifth year senior playing that defensive end. Third and ten for Morelli. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up very well. Morelli throws complete. And he's going to have a first down. Good catch. First down to 39. Morelli with a pump fake. Now he wants to go deep. And the receiver and the defender collided. They haven't thrown a lot of short throws. But Notre Dame has. Second and ten. Breaking through is Kinlaw. Got him on a quick count. And they almost got the first down. Kinlaw again. They stretch it out. He's got nowhere to go, but does sneak into Notre Dame territory. In this case, it's Pat Kuntz, the junior from Indianapolis. Morelli with good protection throws and off the fingertips of Mickey Shula, the tight end. Andrew Quarles, who would have been the starting tight end has been indefinitely suspended. But they are playing much more stout against this Penn State running game tonight. Right now they are set up in a four-man line. Morelli again with time. Batted down at the line of scrimmage. Hansky. Beautiful punt. Just went into the end zone. Really off to a pretty good start here in his first start against Penn State. Certainly acquitted himself quite well so far. Here he throws the out complete to David Grimes. But honestly, no nerves for us. I got a comment about that after this play. And they'll uh, whistle it. Don't get nervous till they see their son get hit really hard. Number 89 off the five yard penalty. In the houses around the stadium until he could find one he could buy. And he finally found one. Thomas trying to get outside. Notre Dame does a good job of stringing it out. Third and long for Clawson, and Notre Dame is changing the play. Clock down to zero. Look out from behind. Near midfield. Good kick. Williams at the 49-yard line. They'll start from there. Showing a lot of poise and yep. presence. I think they're going to have to try to stretch the field on Penn State a little bit the rest of this half. 
Morelli with two receivers wide open on the right side. Actually counting the tight end, he had three guys open. Scott. Stall last year, but the year before. For first down. And he came back as a fifth-year senior. First and ten, Morelli under pressure. Great job, Bob. Throws Morelli. in the flat. Boy, you bet. To just get rid of that. Penn State with its most impressive drive so far in the ballgame. Scott powers his way inside the 25. This drive, much better. Scott picking his way inside the 10. Comes back to Penn State. Over the middle, touchdown. Nice throw to Jordan Norwood. And Norwood got to the goal line and dived for the score. Kelly for the point after. Six plays, 51 yards, only 217 off the clock as Penn State takes the lead at home over Notre Dame. Another big kickoff, and Allen snatches it away and pays the price as he only gets back to the 16. The last four Notre Dame drives have produced a total of seven yards. They have all been three and out. And again, Clawson is going to make a living with those short throws out in the flat. They tackle pretty well in space. I mean, they're letting them catch him, but they're not letting them break tackles and make big plays out of them. Armando Allen is the tailback, and Allen gets up to the 24. And if they fall behind by more than a touchdown, and it starts getting a little later, they're obviously not going to be able to live throwing little check down passes. Clawson goes downfield. This one an overthrow. That was a pretty good throw. Williams bobbles <laughs> that fair catch. Had the MVP of that Sugar Bowl game. I talked to Joe last night, and he said one of the most memorable things for him during that season. Was Run Kurtz here for the reunion, and uh, he was as fine a running back as I ever saw uh, or played with. And uh, he was a great running back in the NFL for the Seahawks. And, and that team will be honored at halftime of this ball game. 110,000 people will stand up for that one. Morelli with pressure. Flag goes down. That looks like it's going to be a face mask. Again, a four-man rush. Notre Dame has been flagged seven times for 50 yards. Now a makeable third down for Morelli. Drops back on third and six throws. And has the first down to Derek Lee. Hooked up and turned to the outside. Morelli timed it perfectly. Morelli. Bootleg throws out in the flat, and that one's complete to Golden. Guys, they really believe they've got that potential within this team. And Holly, I truly believe if you don't set the standard high, and here this trick play is going to blow up in their face. Ending up with the ball is Deion Butler, and Justin Brown was waiting for it. Justin Brown snuffed it out beautifully. A lot of discipline by the Notre Dame defense. Third and a mile. Morelli with time and poorly thrown that time and team to go in the half. Beautiful high spiral. Zibikowski backs to the 10 for a fair catch. How's that for turning college football upside down? Clawson can't find anybody. Got to throw the ball. Got to throw the ball. On the quarterback. Yep. Got to throw that one away. Very important for Jimmy Clawson and Notre Dame to be smart here in the last minute of the first half. Travis Thomas back to the five-yard line. Third and 15 for Clawson. Backed up in his own end. Draw play. Thomas, excuse me, Armando Allen. Nothing doing in the shadow of his own goalpost. Returnable kick. And yeah, Williams will let it go. It's a mistake by Derek Williams. A low kick. You got to make every effort to field that. See if it makes any difference at all. 22 seconds to go in the half, and Morelli goes to the shotgun. Flushed. 
And stayed in bounds and lost the ball. Anthony Morelli, the ball carrier. Made two mistakes on the same play, and Notre Dame gets it back. You have to wonder what Morelli is thinking on that play, and so does Joe Paterno. Time for probably one play and a field goal try. They have one timeout left as well. Part of the snap. Delay game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Ouch. Go first down. Lawson drops back under center, and there is the swing out in the flat to Armando Allen. Didn't understand that no, call. Notre Dame with four players inside the 15-yard line. Lawson flushed out of the pocket. Now he's going to run, and Lawson gets out of bounds after time expires. But it's a first half full of big plays, and actually, considering the way Notre Dame performed a week ago, Pretty good first half for the Fighting Irish, and Charlie Weiss was right in his evaluation. He said this team is going to show up this week and do a lot better than they did a week ago against Georgia Tech. They've been pretty stout against the, the Penn State running game, and they've done what, what they need to do for this team. But the offense has got to pick up the slack. Tell you what, you set a record getting from the field to get back up here. Penn State with a big kickoff return. A.J. Wallace. So they set up shop at the 27-yard line. And they go straight up the gut with Scott. At some point, they're going to have to come out of their shell. Yeah. Morelli on the play-action fake. And Scott, about a yard shy of a first down, brings up a third and short for Penn State. This will be a 37-yard try to go up by 10. And gets it through the left upright. So the big kickoff return to start the half. Results in a field goal, and then they go up 17 to 7. Allen and Tate are deep. And it's Tate out of the end zone. 20, got a hole. Slips the tackle, lost the ball, appeared to get it back. That looked like Mickey Shula ripped the ball out. Nobody better than Dick Vitale raising money for a great cause. Got it for the V Foundation for so long. Clawson back to throw. There's another little swing pass, and Allen will pick up a couple. I think they need to try to throw something down the field and stretch him out, but he's got to get rid of the ball. A couple times he's held it too long, and that's resulted in a sack. Five-man rush coming, throws underneath, and knocked away from the tight end, Carlson. And, and to really evaluate and judge him on a game of this magnitude on a road. Third and 11. Clawson throws off his That's a good decision, Dick, because... On coach. Price to punt to Williams. Got room to run, but no blocking and taken down at the 20-yard line. Return. Dandy named Legal Kevin Lowe, back. who should Return be one of the best freshmen in America. There's going to be a lot of impact. He's be my 29th year on ESPN, and I've loved every moment of it. I've worked with so many beautiful, beautiful people. Scott cuts it back across the 30. To the races. Scott across midfield down to the 45 yard line. There's a 45 yard gain to start this drive. Now they're going to go back even further. Ouch. And again. And that's what Joe Paterno represents to me. They try to, they like the, the phrase success with honor at Penn State. I think that's true of both of these schools. Morelli on the draw. Kinlaw trying to get outside, still on his feet. Let's go to Reese Davis. Reese? Wish you the best with your Cardinals, but watch out. I think the oh, Cubbies man. are going to beat them. I think the Cubbies, sorry, no chance, Dick. are going to beat your Cardinals. <laughs> Dick, Take thanks care, again. Guys. Backed up on your own 10. Be smart with the ball. Austin Scott's the tailback, and Morelli straight back in the pocket to throw. Has time, can't find anybody, and does the wise thing and throws it up in the cheap seats. <laughs> and Notre Dame hanging around, even with an ineffective offense. 
Zabikowski into Penn State territory on his feet. Needs a block. Zabikowski out of bounds at the seven. He nearly broke it. Their offense this year has still only scored one field goal. Cross into the end zone and too far. Good decision. They have Schwab in as the blocking back in front of him. Allen draw to the five. Allen. Clawson on the sprint out. And throws it into the ground. Again, a smart decision. He with Justin King is a pretty good corner, isn't he? He's an outstanding corner. Brandon Walker, the lefty, will go for the field goal to try to cut it to a one-touchdown lead. And does. I'd say oh, both, defense, both defenses had a win there. They exactly. Bad field position, hold them to a field goal. That's a win for the D. That was a great stand by Penn State. Yikes. <laughs> Pooch kick is taken by Jerome Hayes. You know, the old ball coach called out his defense this week, said they were like a, a bunch of average stiffs. I guess that got their <laughs> attention. They're not playing like stiffs tonight. Morelli, that one is tipped and incomplete. Hit the ground in front of Derek Williams. From the 35, second and 10, we have a one touchdown game. This and is where the 40 goes off. To. That's what Penn State needs right now against this Notre Dame defense. Well, really, the only guy they, uh, the, the only guys they have over 210, 212 are the fullbacks, and they're not going to get too many carries. There is a perfect strike down the middle to Chris Bell, and Bell inside the 10. Caught from behind, finally. He turned it into a do-or-die play. Morelli, nice play fake. Has time, then he's in trouble and goes down back at the 13-yard line. It's in the Giants. Scott lowers the shoulder, hammers inside the 10. Third and goal for Morelli. Three-man rush throws over the middle, incomplete. Flag is down. Hand on the football. Pass interference. Number 22 defense. Ball will be spotted at the spot of the foul, the two-yard line. Automatic first down. The, the question is where his left hand was. The right hand got on the football. Where was his left hand? Was it on the back of the receiver? So first and goal all over again. Oh, guys. Prior to the snap. Substitution fraction. Defense. 12 men in formation. Penalty's half the distance to the goal line. Still first down. Nice catch, partner. There's movement by Penn State now. They're backing him up. The visiting the teams. False starts. Number 89 offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. With first down at the six-yard line. Scott off the left side. Turns it outside. Inside the one. 19 carries, 63 yards for the 50-year senior from Allentown. Scott again. Dives. Touchdown. And it's 23 to 10. And Kelly has been perfect. 24-10. Attendance figure of all time set when Nebraska played here. Allen four yards deep. He brings it out. Across the 20 to the 25-yard line. Boise State, even though they lost, I think that may say a little bit more about the job Tyrone Willingham's doing at Washington yes. than anything negative about Boise State. They're still a good team. Notre Dame sends Armando Allen up the middle. That was a must win for Texas a and I think. Lawson on a roll, throws short and complete, and now incomplete to Grimes. He was out of bounds. As they have been goose egg tonight on third down. 
I don't think they got the playoff. Another delay a game. So many things, you know, for a new quarterback. I mean, stuff that he'll learn and he'll get better. As Notre Dame's offense basically has done nothing. They have one first down in this game, even though they have 10 points. Flag is down again. Crossing under pressure, got him from behind. Well, it's dead ball. The, the right tackle move, well, it's a dead ball foul. Out of the snap. Ball starts. Number 74, offense. Five yard penalty, still third down. Four man rush. Clawson takes off. I'm not going to run away from down. these linebackers. <laughs> Dan no, Connor is Dan Connor's Lee. too. Got some pressure on Price. Flag is down. They ran into the kicker. See if it's running into or roughing. Some pressure on him. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Number 15, return yard. 15 yard penalty for the previous spot. Automatic first down. 15 yards, first down. And you've got to just take a different angle and not go right into the kicker. You got to. So a fresh series of downs for Notre Dame. But it won't matter unless they can do something with the ball. Clawson. Throws this one up for grabs and it's caught. Golden Tate in a jump ball. But there is a flag down and they're indicating holding. holding. Number 74 off there. Well, Sam Young, number 74. That was a great catch by Golden Tate. Lawson completes this up to the 28. Found his tight end. Reese, your Russian has to be pretty good to talk about tennis these days. Lawson swallowed up by Connor. The All-American middle linebacker. How many tonight? Four against Penn State. They'll go with the draw playing nothing doing and Sean Lee is take advantage of it. Derek Williams. Late fair catch signal. And boy, that's a tough call. But he, he ran into him anyway, even if he doesn't fair catch it. I can't avoid it. Kick catch interference. Number 27 on the kicking team. 15-yard penalty will be enforced from the spot of the foul. But you're right about this. Down. He was going to get him anyway. Yeah. I think they have been a little bit more physical, particularly their defense, I think, has been pretty physical. Morelli wants the screen. Has it to his fullback, Matt Hahn. And Hahn. And the end of the third quarter. Penn State now in control over Notre Dame. 24 to 10. An 0 and 2 start at the same time that Michigan is 0 and 2. That has never happened. They will play each other next week, so somebody's going to get a win. But if they don't stop them here, if they give up another score, it will be almost insurmountable for Notre Dame. Morelli goes to the shotgun. Four-man rush. Pressure coming. And Morelli throws behind his like last week. The defense gave up for Notre Dame. Gave up 380 yards to Georgia Tech. But it was a lot about what Todd was just talking about. It was the offense not doing its job. It played excellent defense. Downfield. Number 64. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Makes third down. Ten. Nice high floater. Zibikowski won't have a chance to return this. They've got to be able to block a much better defense tonight in LSU. Notre Dame has rushed for six yards tonight. Make it seven. Last is last. Lawson looking downfield. Can't find anybody. And throws it away. The numbers for Clawson in the game, second half, three out of eight, only 10 yards. Notre Dame desperate for something to happen on offense. Clawson throws, should have been intercepted. Right into the chest. Notre Dame simply can't move the ball at all. Williams, 45, midfield. 
Breaks the tackle. There's a flag down, though. Usually, that's an illegal block in the back. That's not the body returns. language. Legal block in the back. Number 52 in the return team. The 10 yard penalty being forced from the spot of the foul. First down. Eight yards. <laughs> Penn State's best friend right now is the clock and field position. You know, when he talks about having a grueling night in the library, he's about the only guy I've ever met in college football who can say that with a straight face. <laughs> As a team, Penn State 21 carries 84 yards on the ground tonight. Scott. And dragging tacklers with him. Now, but you've been there before, so you have options. I've been there a few times. I got a couple possibilities. Reese might have some suggestions. He's an Alabama guy. The only question for TCU is their offense good enough. But that is a huge opportunity for TCU, especially with Boise State losing today. Scott, when that offensive line is just starting to move people out. Penn State now with a second and three outside the 20. Scott again. Boy, Notre Dame really starting to miss tackles. That he didn't get this guy. The fullback again, plowing forward. They'll have a first down on the third and short. Of course, Midwest schools going after a lot of the same kids. And rightfully so. They are very proud of their graduation rates. And Scott upended for Penn State. They didn't have a whole lot of success running earlier in the game, but right now having much more. 111 yards on 38 carries tonight. Scott again. You get a big dose of the guy on this drive. He's down to the five. Third and three for Penn State. Need to reach about the one and a half yard line for a first down. Scott inside the five. Touchdown. Austin Scott. And that was the drive of the irresistible force. They just slammed it into Notre Dame time and time again. Penn State has taken control after this 62-yard drive, which burned five minutes and 12 seconds off the clock. What will happen to Jimmy Clausen and the Notre Dame offense? Situations like this, Austin Scott, he stepped up, ran the ball physical. Eight of the ten carries on that drive. Looked pretty good, didn't it? Sure did. Armando Allen. Out to the 25-yard line here. Here at Penn State, Notre Dame looking at a last gasp effort here to try to get back in the ball game, and they need something of a miracle. And once again, who do you like for number one for the Big Ten championship? You'd have to think it's Penn State. And that was nearly intercepted by 33 to 3. They're behind this week, 31 to 10. Lawson. Trying to make something happen and wow. does. Nice throw. Throws over the middle and he's got a first down. It's Robbie Paris. That was a whale of a throw. He's not looking at defensive linemen. This kid is way advanced past the stage that most freshmen are. And as you pointed out before, Todd, it's because he has been around two brothers. He's worked with Jimmy since the seventh grade. Pretty much year round since he was a seventh grader. Lawson for the end zone, and there's going to be an interference call there. It looked like Justin King. Best interference. Number 16. I'm sorry, correction. Number one, defense. Pelly will place the ball at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Penn State showing blitz. They back out of it. Lawson keeps his feet, tiptoes down the sideline, stepped out of bounds, you're going to see. And he, and he makes good decisions, for the most part, for a very young guy. Lawson with the fade. No flag and incomplete. Third and goal. Blitz, and they pick it up. Lawson fires for the end zone. Incomplete. Off the hands of Kamara. Blitz again. 
Flossen in trouble, throws for the end zone, too high and intercepted. Had a receiver wide open and overthrew him. Justin King got it off the fingertips of Robbie Paris. They have yet to get an offensive touchdown this year, although you can't hang that on Clawson. He didn't start last week. He's pretty special. I would agree with you. And now Penn State's just going to go back to with all the accolades he's gotten and people saying what a great player he is. He has also been the subject of, of an awful lot of nasty stuff. Maybe it's the day. And Boone to pump the way. Not a good kick. Somebody may have gotten a piece of that. Touched by Notre Dame. And the Irish get it back. Fourth of the season announcing the greatest player on the last week of the regular season. Clawson scrambling for time and throwing to the sideline incomplete. Everybody knows about Brady Quinn and thinks automatically the, the quarterback, but it was a lot more. A lot of more pieces to the puzzle. Complete up to the 44. Let's check in with Holly. Joe sent a message. He said, hey, I wanted these guys to know that it was stupid. More in a minute. Clawson, great presence, makes the throw, but out of bounds. He hung in there as long as he could. Hey, hey wait a minute. Let's just cold, hold off on this. Back off. We don't need to get involved in this. And since it was a lot of guys alive, he made sure he didn't stand too close to those guys. <laughs> Junior Jabby had the last carry. Here's Clawson in trouble, and down he goes back at the 39. And looking forward to go to Michigan to get healthy. <laughs> right. It's unheard of. The return by Scarato at this point. They, they've got too much work to do offensively. Can they run the football? Can they block better than they did a week ago? Give it off to Kinlaw. He'll get a couple. But they've got to beat Texas in order to do that, I think. No upsets as yet, I should have said. Kinlaw. Down to the 31-yard line as the clock is winding down for Kinlaw. Rush yards, Notre Dame, zero. Michigan and Notre Dame will start the season for the first time ever. Both 0-2. How ironic they will play next week. And 110,000 fans in a sea of white saw what they wanted to see tonight. A Penn State dominating victory 